As the industry is progressing on its 5G journey with multiple deployments and trials, operators are desperately looking for ways to monetize their investments into 5G. What are their main opportunities there? And what is the role of programmable networks in this space? I'm delighted to explore this topic with Shkumbin Hamiti, Head of Network Monetization Platform Business Unit, Cloud and Network Services at Nokia. Hi Shkumbin. So let's start with the ever important question of 5G monetization. What are the main opportunities and how do programmable networks and ecosystems facilitate the exploitation of 5G and potentially creating new revenue streams? Hi, Yanni, and thanks for having me. Uh, this is a very important topic that the industry has been working now for uh, uh, for a while in trying to address. The solution is in front of us. Uh, the digital application ecosystem is a healthy ecosystem which is uh, showing a tremendous growth on a yearly basis. Uh, the way the digital application ecosystem works is by tapping into the best of breed of the ecosystem players when they deliver their digital uh, experiences to serve the digital transformation journey of the enterprises. So there is a recipe how the, the, the digital experiences are, are made. The APIs are in the simplest form a door opener for accessing the capabilities of the telco world. When you look at the digital application ecosystem, they have a multitude of APIs coming from various sources, but not many from the telco world. The telco world has been uh, making first attempts to open up. Uh, the GSM May Open Gateway Initiative was one of those that showed the seriousness of the operators to open up. Now, the way to capture the value is to become valuable to those verticals that can get the best from the network capabilities. And the formula is, let's open up the capabilities, deliver it in the form that they easily consume, by developers in the enterprise space, and especially by those developers who actually don't know much about uh, 5G or cellular networking or 3GPP at all. And can you elaborate on Nokia's vision and strategy for network as code? So just uh, uh, building on what I just said about the opportunity out there, we, we think that the, the key to unleashing that opportunity are developers, especially developers serving the enterprises out there in various verticals. And in order to serve those, those developers, we need to provide the network capabilities in an easy to consume way. And therefore, our platform is actually a, a platform that enables exposure of capabilities which span across public and private networks globally, country by country, integrating those capabilities into the platform and exposes them uh, in a simplified way to the developers. Provide the tools which are necessary for those developers that the developers are used to, like documentation, communities, uh, sandboxes. They'd like to test those capabilities in live networks. All those experiences need to be provided and that's what our network has called uh, platform provides, together with all the analytics, all the, the billing and, uh, uh, and uh, related uh, uh, business platform solutions. And what significant milestones has Nokia achieved with Network as Code, particularly in terms of service launch and collaborations? And also, what kind of feedback have telcos and system integrators given on your offerings? Yes, just to, to remind you, we launched our Network as Code platform publicly in September last year in Mobile World Congress in uh, Las Vegas. Uh, since then, we have made uh, very good progress in uh, signing in partnerships. Uh, we have uh, uh, 10 CSPs signed as partners. Uh, some of them are public. Uh, we've talked about uh, uh, Dish Wireless, uh, then uh, British Telecom, Telia, uh, Nosh Portugal, and there are several uh, more partnerships to be announced leading to the Mobile World Congress. In addition to those, we have uh, made progress with various system integrators, uh, including a company uh, called Innova Solutions, which is a company that is bringing our capabilities into the financial services and asset management verticals. Then we've uh, worked with a company in the domain of uh, immersive uh, media, uh, the company called Immersal. Uh, Another example I could take, which is really exciting, is support for a, a startup from Estonia called Elmo that uh, does remote driving. Uh, 
in the streets of Helsinki, where we are engaged with them to provide quality of service on demand, network insights, and few other APIs in the, the uh, process of delivering the service. Engagement has been very busy, very active, and it has uh, been very valuable for our teams. We've learned a lot. We have improved our platform and we continue improving platform based on the feedback. Uh, what we have seen uh, emerging from all these discussions, uh, and I could take another example, which is also very interesting, and that's the one with uh, uh, the work that we have done with uh, City Mesh uh, uh, and flying the drone from Belgium in uh, Germany on Deutsche Telekom's network. It was like many use cases which, which uh, open up the moment you, you open the network capabilities. So the direction we are taking with, uh, uh, with our platform uh, and overall uh, as an industry is absolutely the right one. I'm 100% I'm, I'm convinced. That's good to hear. And with MWC 2024 approaching in Barcelona, um, how is Nokia collaborating with organizations like the GSMA and Camera? And what will Nokia be showcasing at MWC this year? Nokia has a long history of collaborating with uh, standardization in industry forums uh, globally. GSMA, we have been a, a, a long-term partner of the GM, GSMA. We are, one, we are one of the channel partners of the Open Gateway Initiative. We also contribute to Camara Initiative uh, uh, quite significantly. And uh, uh, those are very important uh, industry activities that will just help spearhead the network API ecosystem out there. Uh, in Mobile World Congress, we are one of the uh, uh, platinum uh, sponsors of, of the GSMA's DevCon, uh, where we will uh, present the progress we have made so far with our uh, platform, share some learnings from uh, our engagements with the rest of the industry, we will also host a panel uh, with some of our ecosystem partners uh, and give them a chance to share their views on this important topic. And we hope that the, the feedback will be positive uh, from all the participants there. And we've heard about the first ever GSMA Open Gateway Hackathon utilizing your network as code platform. Could you provide insights into the planning process for the hackathon? Yes, we, we've been uh, honored to be selected as the only platform for this hackathon. As you said, it is the first one. Uh, we are looking forward to seeing the results of this uh, hackathon. Uh, the idea is to have developers uh, developing live in Barcelona, utilizing the live uh, instance of a our network as code platform that exposes a few APIs. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing the outcome of that. Uh, very exciting. It is very exciting to see indeed, and we'll be looking forward to seeing the results of that as well. Shkumbin, it was a pleasure speaking with you today. Thanks for joining us. Likewise. Thank you for having me.